Hello guys, welcome back to Watch Time! Today's movie recap will be a sport, war, and action movie from 2020 called The Champion. Warning, there are spoilers ahead. At the beginning of the story, we see a man named Teddy standing in line, closing his eyes and thinking back to the days when he used to box in his backyard. He recalls a day when German soldiers stormed into his house and took him to a concentration camp. In the camp, Teddy and the other prisoners are treated terribly, forced to do hard labor all day without proper sleeping conditions. They are all squeezed into one room and only get a thin soup to eat, which isn't enough to sustain them through the day's work. As a result, many prisoners catch fatal diseases and die one after another, including teenagers. Among them is a 15-year-old boy named Yannick who is often picked on by other prisoners. One day, an old man tries to rally a few prisoners to escape, but a guard hears them and kills the old man by hitting him on the head with a heavy rod. This act frightens everyone, but it seems they are used to such brutal acts. Later, Yannick approaches Teddy, recognizing him as a famous boxer from Warsaw. Yannick admires Teddy and remembers watching him box on TV. Teddy warns Yannick to keep quiet about their identities, as the camp does not respect individuality. The following day, Teddy works at the residence of a German general and manages to hide some apples in his clothes. He shares an apple with Yannick who gives it to an old man. Seeing Yannick's kindness, Teddy gives him another apple to eat himself. However, German soldiers find out about the stolen apples and arrest Teddy, Yannick and the old man. They are taken to an execution site for punishment. The soldiers order the old man to balance an apple on his head, but instead of aiming at the apple, a soldier shoots him in the head, killing him. After that incident, Teddy is told to put the apple on his own head, but he refuses and eats the apple instead. His brave act impresses the soldiers, and they spare his life. However, they capture Yannick and brutally punish him while Teddy watches, unable to help. That night, Teddy is overwhelmed with guilt for involving Yannick, which keeps him from sleeping. At the same time, a tragic event occurs as a group of Jewish people, including children, are forced into a gas chamber where they are killed by lethal gas. As time goes on, conditions worsen for the prisoners who start their harsh labor before dawn with even less food. One day, a soldier throws a piece of food on the ground, causing a desperate scramble among the hungry prisoners. Enjoying the spectacle, he then makes two prisoners slap each other for more food. Teddy, using his boxing skills, easily wins these slap contests. Later, a German officer, also a boxer, challenges Teddy to a match. Teddy accepts and the fight begins. Despite the officer's aggressive attacks, Teddy avoids every hit and eventually strikes the officer's face, winning the match. The impressed officer rewards Teddy with a large piece of bread, which he shares with the other prisoners. While eating, Teddy notices that Yannick is sick with a cough and cold, which soon turns into pneumonia due to poor conditions. Concerned, Teddy asks the same officer for food and medicine. The officer agrees but makes a condition. He then takes Teddy to his superiors and suggests organizing a boxing match in the camp to entertain the troops, featuring Teddy as a fighter. At first, the camp leaders are doubtful that the thin Teddy can last even a minute in a boxing ring. However, the officer convinces them to let Teddy try. The movie then moves to the first boxing match in the camp, where Teddy faces a skilled opponent. Teddy is pushed into a corner in the first round but makes a strong comeback in the second round with a series of effective punches, winning the match. This win impressed the German leaders and Rudy, the son of the German general, who was watching. As a reward, Teddy receives extra food and water and he is promoted to work in the horse stable, which promises more food. That evening, after getting treatment for his injuries at the camp infirmary, Teddy asks the nurse for pneumonia medicine. The nurse, who is kinder than the guards, gives him various medications. Teddy then goes to the sick ward, where many workers are in critical condition, gives pneumonia medicine to Yannick, and leaves the rest of the medications with a healthcare worker there. Now working at the horse stable, Teddy has more free time, which he uses to keep practicing his boxing. After a few weeks, Yannick recovers, and Teddy arranges for him to work in the infirmary. There, Yannick meets a beautiful girl named Helsia, and they quickly become friends. As time goes on, Teddy gets into better shape because of the improved food and rest, and Yannick's situation also gets better. However, the rest of the prisoners continue to suffer terribly, treated inhumanely and subjected to daily executions. The sick ward still lacks proper medicine and care, leading to many deaths. Despite these harsh conditions, Teddy does his best to help his fellow prisoners. Teddy wins all the boxing matches he participates in and continues to share the extra food he receives with other prisoners. He also secretly brings important medicines from the infirmary to the sick ward to help the suffering inmates. 
One day, the German soldiers bring in a tough opponent from another prison to challenge Teddy, hoping he would lose. But Teddy's superior agility and boxing skills ensure his victory, and he is rewarded with more food, which he again shares with his fellow inmates. In the next scene, Rudy, the son of the German general, falls ill with typhoid and tragically dies, leaving the general heartbroken. The next morning, Teddy sees lifeless bodies being carried out of the camp, and he realizes they are the men he had defeated in the ring. Overcome with guilt, he decides to stop fighting. However, Yannick persuades him to continue, saying he is the only hope for the prisoners. That night, a tragic event unfolds as a group of Jewish prisoners, including Helsia, who is caught stealing food, are forced into a gas chamber. When a soldier demands that Helsia strip, she grabs his gun and shoots him. But in retaliation, other soldiers shoot her dead, and other prisoners are also killed in the gunfire. Yannick, who sees this from afar, is devastated by Helsia's death. Later, it is discovered that the German general has been injured by a gunshot to his hand and is taken to the infirmary. There, he finds out that Yannick was working there without proper authorization and subjects him to harsh treatment. When Teddy learns about Yannick's situation, he begs the camp officials to release him, but they refuse. Determined to free Yannick, Teddy offers to fight the best German boxer, Hammerschlag, in exchange for Yannick's release. He also warns that he will stop fighting altogether if they refuse. After some thought, the officials agree to the deal but secretly plan to make sure Teddy loses the match. The fight is scheduled for the evening and both fighters prepare to face each other. As the match begins, Teddy finds it tough to handle the strong attacks from Hammerschlag. He's easily overpowered in the first round, but in the second round, he manages to land some good punches on Hammerschlag. Seeing their top boxer getting hit, the officials quickly signal for a break. During this break, they give Teddy a mysterious drink which soon makes him dizzy and blurs his vision. With this disadvantage, Hammerschlag hits Teddy hard, knocking him down, and the officials quickly declare Hammerschlag the winner. After the match, Teddy tries to continue fighting, but the soldiers bring in an injured Yannick and throw him in front of Teddy. The officials order Teddy to fight Yannick or else they'll shoot him. Teddy hesitates, not wanting to hurt his friend, and during his hesitation, a soldier shoots and kills Yannick. Teddy is then tied to a pole and left hanging there all night. The next morning, a soldier unties Teddy and tells him to get back to work. Instead, Teddy goes to the cremation area to look for Yannick's remains, but only finds a toy that belonged to him. Holding the toy, Teddy mourns, then resolves to defeat Hammerschlag. He interrupts a match and challenges Hammerschlag to a duel, which he accepts. In the audience, a warden from another prison recognizes Teddy from an earlier encounter in Warsaw and bets on his victory. The match starts with Teddy absorbing many punches without fighting back. Despite his bloody face, Teddy smiles and waits for the right moment to strike. He then delivers powerful punches that knock Hammerschlag to the ground, winning the match. The prisoners cheer for Teddy, now hailed as a champion of Auschwitz. Impressed, the warden asks for Teddy to be transferred to his prison, and the next day, Teddy is freed from Auschwitz and moved to the new facility. In a scene after the credits, it's revealed that Teddy continued to fight in other concentration camps until he was liberated by the Allied forces. After returning home, Teddy begins training young kids in boxing. Thanks for watching! Don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Take care and see you next time.